Apple delayed the iOS 26 public beta, but for a good reason. In this video, I'm going to break down when it's coming and why Apple waited until now to let us try it. So when is iOS 26 public beta actually coming? Expected releases is either on Tuesday, July the 22nd or either Wednesday, July the 23rd, uh, as rumors suggested. So why did Apple delay the public release longer than usual? Because earlier betas weren't ready for the public. Apple wanted to wait until most of the bugs were fixed from the last beta, which was beta three. Now going from the public beta, the developer beta, which was on June the 9th, was the last update we got. It was full of bugs, there was overheating and crashes. So it meant for developers and testers only, uh, we had a lot of uh, issues. So what, happen, what happens if you install it early? You can expect some system lag, bad battery, possibly app crashes. So it was only meant for like developers and testers to try it out to see how, how it was holding up. Um, we also wanted to see like the new, the new features and stuff like that. We weren't expecting that, but you kind of got to expect with a new software, especially us coming from all the way from iOS 18 to changing it all the way to, it was supposed to be iOS 19, but then they changed it to, you know, iOS 26. So what happens if you install a beta early? Well, you can expect system lag. You can expect bad battery and possibly app crashes. So that's why they made us wait for the public beta towards the end of the month. Apple uses early betas to fix bugs before handing it over to public users to try it. So that's why Apple timed the public beta after these issues were addressed to be able to enjoy the liquid glass experience. So now what everybody wants to know that's gonna take advantage of the public beta when it is released, what features will be in this public beta? So you, you have the liquid glass UI like I'm showing here um, with all of like the glass design. So you can go to different ones, uh, customize pretty much like that so you'll get all of this plus you'll have that frosted blur across all elements of your iPhone including your home screen your lock screen your dock along the bottom your control center and much more what lock screen upgrades will you get also, you'll have this adaptive clock resizing, which will resize, um, which it'll hide behind. You'll get that uh, that depth effect uh, that'll go behind the wallpaper when you use the default, or you use something with a subject in it. So you also get that. Then widgets also align at the top or either at the bottom, just like that. And then you can finally customize the lock screen more freely. Yes, but it's pretty much the same as it was on iOS 18. Just a little more glossy, a little more glassy or glossy or blurry, however you want to say that. And then just like the widgets, these, you get, you get a choice of glass or solid. Everybody seems to like the glass look. So do I. So that's what you get on the lock screen. And then you get these 3D motion uh, wallpapers, which if you, if you notice right here, so when I pick it up, as you see, you get these like a 3D motion effect, just like that. So it adds motion, adds spatial depth, and like a 3D-like effects. Now, Let's talk about what, what would you get with the camera. So we go to camera 
And so now, as you see, you get, so say for instance, you had a video, you have a photo, and then you also got this slider, which you could do that. So, and then when you got it on photo, you get the choice of photo video right there. You also get these options up here for all your other toggles. You get your different formats and resolution up here. But you also get it if you slide up right here, which I don't know why it's at the top, at the top up here and at the bottom, because you could do the same thing at the bottom. Or if you change the video, you can slide up and you get flash exposure and action just like that. So you get your toggles up there too. Then you get all of your resolution, ProRes, resolution, frame rate, uh, and the PAL, just like that. So that's all the different options you get with the camera. So here's my final thoughts. Should you wait for the public beta? I think you should uh, if you're not already on. Um, a developer beta if you want a better experience I will wait for the public beta coming this week if you already installed the developer beta like I just said a few seconds ago just know that the public beta will hopefully be better more reliable release for you to try out and enjoy so you could stick with the public beta from here when it's when it's available or you could wait for the full official iOS 26 release in September if you don't want to acquire bugs, which you'll still probably get bugs on the official release too, but it just won't be as bad as the betas, either the public or the developer betas. So if you want zero bugs, wait until September is probably the, your safest option. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.